But then also if you pinch them in the butt, oh, I don't know if you can see it. See that little orange V sticking out? That really stinks. All right guys, Papa Pepper, back once again. I've been weed whacking hard, having a lot of fun, just because then I get to see what's on my land. And while I've been doing that, these kids have been doing an amazing job of finding some crazy creatures. Um, one of them is going to be this swallowtail caterpillar that Red Pepper found. If you look at it, it is a sight to behold for sure. A very interesting one, but then also if you pinch them in the butt, oh, I don't know if you can see that, see that little orange V sticking out? That really stinks. And that is a defense mechanism that they have to help them prevent from getting eaten. Let's see, oh, it's almost going. So this is one of the reasons why I like to pinch caterpillars in the butt. It's just kind of an interesting thing to see. And uh, these guys are gonna be found oftentimes parsley, they really like, um, dill. I found them on wild carrots before up in Wisconsin. They are a very interesting, interesting caterpillar, a beautiful one. Um, green's my favorite color anyway. You can see it's got some green and gold going on there. And uh, just a, whoa, crazy, you know, defense mechanism. If you didn't know that was gonna happen, like from watching a video like this or doing it yourself, uh, you'd be rather surprised and so do some animals. They get pretty surprised too when all of a sudden they, oh, see that. So Red Pepper found this one. Can you even hear me? Yeah. Oh. Where did you find it? On the Malabar spinach. This one was actually on the Malabar spinach, which is one of the first, you know, um, pests we actually found on that Malabar spinach this year. So that's kind of interesting. And I seen quite a few on the dill earlier, but this is the biggest one that we found. So one of the cool, cool creatures we found today. Check that out. Absolutely beautiful. A very cool, very cool swallowtail caterpillar. Thank you. Bonus guys, cow killer. Cow killer, don't play with those, it's not an ant. It's not a cute fuzzy little velvet ant. So guys, what I just thought of is that this Malabar spinach does have some carrots I'm growing for seed by it. And that is something that those caterpillars like too. So she said she found it right over here, which is right next to here, which to me, I'm thinking it was the carrots they were yeah, after. Yeah, it was on a leaf right there. Because that's what they do. Very cool. Do they eat the carrots? They eat the carrots. In fact, look at this. Somebody ate the whole section out of here. All those flowers are completely eaten and gone. So somebody was up there nibbling on that. Probably that type of swallowtail. Could have been that swallowtail. Are those black peppers? No, they're purple cobras. Oh, oh my, somebody's probably got their mouth burning. Those ones are ripe. These ones are getting there. Purple cobras, child. Purple cobra. 
Guys, hard at work, weed whacking today, doing all sorts of stuff, and crazy animals. Monster truck has been doing really well today. Some of the other kids have been doing well. Mama Pepper's finding creatures, but look at this. Look at the size of that praying mantis, guys. The first time I ever actually saw a praying mantis was down in Kentucky. Mama Pepper and I on the trip when we found out that we were pregnant with Pinkie Pepper went down to the Creation Museum and we brought um, her sister. We're up, it was on the third or the fourth floor of a hotel and her sister's looking out the window and she goes, oh, what is that? And I said, what is what? She's looking out the window. And she goes, some thing just landed on a car. And I'm like, what is it, like a praying mantis? And I went and I looked down and sure enough, there was a big green mama, a big green mama, sitting on the back of this red, uh, red vehicle. So I sh 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 ran down a couple flights of stairs, got out there, I grabbed it like this. The first thing that happened is the top spun around, it sunk those two big old taloned claws into my, into my thumb and I said, ah, ha, ha, you're not getting away now. So to find one this big, whoa. And this beautiful guys, look at that green, ouch. I don't know if you can see the green racing stripe. Yeah, you can. Look at that, I got one leg still of this thing. He's a little timid with it right now, but he found this giant praying mantis and I'm hoping it's a big mama. I'm hoping she's gonna lay some eggs. So we're gonna go let her go in the garden when we let her go. And then right after he found that, we get back out to work, you know, cause that was cool. That was way cool, amazing. We get out and I'm barely even starting to weed whack again and all of a sudden he calls me over and shows me this. Check this out. What did you say you found? A newt. A newt, guys. Look at that cute newt. That is so tiny. Let me get a better zoom on that. So that is the cute. A little newt a monster truck found guys these are so amazing especially to find on our own property uh, pays to help dad work doesn't it, son So guys, this is absolutely crazy. I love this stuff. It is so cool. Such a cute little newt. And we're gonna we're gonna let it go back on our land, but it's just some of those things you run into when you're living, you know, out here in the real world. I uh, absolutely love it. It took me, it was over 25 years. I think it was almost 30 years to actually even find one up in Wisconsin, so. To see this guy here on my land right now is absolutely amazing. Let's go let him go, son. Yes, sir. A little brown skink. A little brown skink, too? Mm -hmm. Do you still see it? Oh, wow, that was super fast. Yeah, so cool. Here. All right. Well, we'll let him get back. And actually, we found him just on the other side of here where we were weed whacking. So he's close to home. Let's keep it back. What happened, lady? He just crawled out of the uh, recycling. Lock okay. Oh. 
it. And crawl out of a recycling into my. Whoa! How big is it? Look at that. Oh! Where you at? Oh! That's a good size one. I got him some. Whoa! <laughs> There we go. You can help me now, son. One on the body, one on the head. Back up a little bit. Let me see that thing. This way, son. So, I've been weed whacking a lot lately, as you can tell. And we've been found crazy animals today. And this is one of them now. Good sized black rat snake. Probably about almost four feet long. Still a pretty good. young one. Which is good that it's not eating our eggs. So we're getting in the habit now of finding them when they're not eating our eggs. Or our quail. So that's good. Why that are you one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good little one. Beautiful snake. Hot days these days too, so it is fast enough charged up. Wow. What do you think, son? We'll have to relocate him tomorrow. Another animal on the homestead. This one goes to Mama today. Look guys, I found something too. What is it? A black rat snake. Were you able to identify it before we captured it? Yes I was. That's right, knowledge is power. Let me get a look at that. Hold up closer to your face. I can get a good shot of you guys together. A little closer. Oh. <laughs> little closer. <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't want to. Here? Oh, well, this way. Okay, time for pictures. And then I go to work and <laughs> check out this, right? Always encountering stuff. Had to let a bunch of toads go today that were gonna get hurt and then caught this giant skink. Just uh, massive. He's just been eating a bunch of crickets for a really long time, but look at that. And he's a little, yeah, he's defensive. Beautiful, beautiful creature. Love having lizards like this around. Even if I gotta go to work to find them. All right, guys, crazy, crazy bunch of animals. So the correct answers from the last video of our garden harvest were um, a winged bean, noodle bean, snake gourd, and toothache plant. If you answered all four of those correctly, you were in the running for a shout out in this video, and the shout out in this video goes to Benjamin Turner. Benjamin Turner, you're the big winner. All right, guys, so for the trivia for this video, what amphibian did Monster Truck catch? Number two, what kind of insect, clue, did Monster Truck catch? Number three, what type of snake did Mama Pepper find? And number four, what color was the thing that popped out of that green, black, and yellow swallowtail uh, caterpillar? If you know the answer to those questions, leave them in the comment section below. We're going to let this one go in the garden here. Hopefully, she'll be reproducing. Monster truck's a little timid around it. You just want to hold up your hand? Look at it, it's cleaning its face. Do you see that? It is cleaning its face right now. Or its arm. 
Wow. Isn't that crazy stuff, son? This is the real world right here. <laughs> you wanna hold out your hand? I wanna hold out a stick. You wanna hold out a stick? Let's try it. <laughs> oh! You want aim in that way? Hold on the other end of the stick. Grab it down there. There you go. Now let's see if you can put it on the uh, Malabar. Up top. Oh, that'll work. All right. Cool stuff, huh? Absolutely beautiful. So, there's more than one way to get your kid brave enough to hold one on their hand. Whoa, look who's brave now. Okay, let's turn that and look. Whoa, buddy. Look at the size of that thing. That's like a pet bird. Now open your mouth. What do you think about her? It's very pretty on the side. Yeah, incredible, isn't it? Okay, put her back on the Malabar. There you go, little one. Big, big, big little one. Good one today, son. Let's get back to work. But wait, there's more, because the day goes on. Check out this one. Oh yeah, let's see. Focus, focus. A beautiful, I believe, adolescent gray tree frog. And you may say, gray tree frog? It looks green to me. Oh, I agree. To you it looks green. No, I'm kidding, they changed color. Very cool, they got a number of patterns they can do, and an incredible, if we can get the focus again, incredible yellow on the legs, whoa! So, just another cool creature around here, right there, son. Happy to see, glad to see, and then, uh, you know, one that eats pests, so. All right, I'll see you guys next time. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people, where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.